The earth is like an organism. It may even be conscious. And it's done just about everything an organism can do except for reproduce. I believe that part of humanity's purpose here is to help spread the seeds of life to the stars and that the earth grew us with this purpose, that we're here to be stewards of life in the universe and to help continue life. Um, I had this vision in the rainforest of the earth reproducing and spreading life outwards. And I believe this is a beautiful long range vision for the future of our species, to ripple life across the galaxy and to be the ones that green the universe and help, help continue life. Um, now this, this vision hooked me, but I'm passionate about Earth here today, and we have real challenges on Earth today. So I, I wanted to figure out how, how to make this actually matter here today. And humans have built seed banks for thousands of years. We, we know that it makes sense to save life as it is for our kids, for our grandkids, for seven generations, for 7,000 generations from now. And so I, I came up with the vision of let's save a seed bank of the DNA of all different species from Earth uh, for the far future from now. And DNA is tiny, so uh, we can save copies of it. And if you're going to save a backup of something, you never want to save all copies in one spot. So the moon is the next logical place to save a copy. It's far enough away to be separate and close enough to potentially get by an advanced civilization. So I started LifeShip with this vision, both to uh, preserve life for future generations, as well as take steps towards this long-range vision of spreading life in the universe and, and continuing life. Um, started with prototypes. I believe, believe in taking small steps. This is uh, both plant seeds and then DNA of hundreds of species preserved in a, in a polymer that we call synthetic amber polymer, kind of like uh, tree amber in Jurassic Park. And then created a, a kit for people to add their DNA. And thousands of people add their DNA, added their DNA so far. And this, uh, this helped us fund the mission and get us going and helped uh, include humans in, in it. Um, NASA loved the mission. We partnered with NASA and got to send two of these up to the International Space Station. Uh, and these went up on SpaceX rockets and astronauts carried them on board up on crewed missions. Um, and then in October this year, we're on a mission to the moon. And uh, this is a lander made by Firefly Aerospace. And it'll launch on a SpaceX rocket. And the lander goes to the moon, stays on the moon, and our capsule stays on board it. And it'll, it'll stay there forever. Now, DNA can only last perhaps tens of thousands of years. Um, we wanted to last longer, so we etched the full human genome into ceramic and nano etched it and uh, with our partners with Cerobyte. And then we also wanted to include a cultural archive and a message from humanity. And so we etched thousands of uh, pages of information and text about Earth and humanity and our story in, a, in nickel nanofish, viewable in a microscope. We worked with a local artist, Amy Carl, to do the cover art, uh, to show who this is from, humanity, and then uh, the Milky Way galaxy and a map to pulsars of, of uh, where this came from. So that's both a, a map and a time, uh, it tells you the time. And then this really has become a platform where we have all sorts of partners that are adding um, art collections from kids around the world or or stories or podcasts or museums and so we work with work with groups and I really believe that a long-range future of humanity rippling life across the galaxy can help uh, can can help who we are today and and our next steps as our species and and really us being stewards of life in the universe uh, we're taking on this role of of continuing continuing this precious miracle of life. Um, and really thinking long term about who we are as a species and where we're going really is about who do we choose to be today and how do we care for Earth today and how do we care for all the, uh, all the precious species on Earth today. And so I uh, invite you to join. You're welcome to add your, your DNA, your stories, your wishes, your dreams, 
to, uh, to create, create a whole program and engage others in, in space through our platform. And uh, let's dream an inspiring future for uh, both Earth and humanity in the universe.